In the last video, we talked about how to take derivatives whenever you're multiplying two functions, but what about when you're dividing two functions? Just like with products, you don't want to just take the derivative of, of the top divided by the derivative of the bottom. That doesn't work with our original definition of the derivative. But we do have a formula that we can use. We do the derivative of the top times the bottom minus the top times the derivative of the bottom all over the bottom squared. Another way to write this using top t and b for top and bottom is derivative of the top times the bottom minus the top times derivative of the bottom all over the bottom squared. And that may be a little less confusing. And a lot of times you also see it as low d high minus high d low. And that's just something that makes this a little bit easy to remember, low d high minus high d low. And it's just a little more easy, nice rhyming thing that helps. So now let's do some examples. Here I have a quotient and I want to find the derivative. So we have the derivative of the top, the derivative of 3x is 3, and the derivative of negative 4 is 0 times the bottom, 8x plus 2, minus the top, 3x minus 4, times the derivative of the bottom. The derivative of 8x is 8, and the derivative of a constant is 0, all over the bottom squared. And from here, it's really just simplification. 3 times 8 is 24. 3 times 2 is 6. Here we have 3 times 8 is 24, so we have minus 24x. 8 times 4 is 32. This is a negative 32, and another negative makes it positive 32. All over 8x plus 2 squared. And then finally, we can see these 24x's cancel. 32 plus 6 is 38 over 8x plus 2 squared. Let's look at some more. Let's consider the derivative of tangent. So we haven't talked about what the derivative of tangent is, but we do know that tangent is sine over cosine. So we can use the quotient rule. We have the derivative of the top, the derivative of sine is cosine, times the bottom, which is cosine, minus the top, which is sine, times the derivative of the bottom, the derivative of cosine is negative sine, all over the bottom squared. Simplifying this, I see a cosine squared plus sine squared all over cosine squared. And using our trig identities, we know that cosine squared plus sine squared is 1 over cosine squared. And 1 over cosine is secant. So the derivative of tangent is secant squared. Now let's consider cotangent, cosine over sine. When I try to take the derivative, I have the derivative of the top. The derivative of cosine is negative sine times the bottom minus the top, which is cosine, times the derivative of the bottom. The derivative of sine is cosine, all over the bottom squared. This time I have negative sine squared minus cosine squared over sine squared. We know that sine squared plus cosine squared is 1. If we factor out a negative sign on the top, you'll see that this is actually negative 1 over sine squared. So the derivative of cotangent is negative cosecant squared. Now let's look at secant. This time when we take the derivative, we have the derivative of the top, and the derivative of 1 is 0 times the bottom, minus the top times the derivative of the bottom, and the derivative of cosine is negative sine all over the bottom squared. So on the top, I just have a sine x 
on the bottom I have a cosine squared, but we do want to simplify that. I'm going to rewrite this as sine over cosine times 1 over cosine. We can now see that this is tangent times secant. And that's the derivative of secant, is tangent x secant x. You can do this similarly for cosecant x. I won't do it in this video, but you should absolutely try it out and see what you get.